I'm gonna start this off um, giving you guys a tour of inside the bass. This is my solo duo bass design. Uh, it's fully sculpted around uh, one by one. Uh, we're gonna have it on in. Starting off here, single door, coming up into a jump up. There's one of these on each side of the bass. Takes you straight to the peak downs. You can add more garage doors there. There's also a shotgun trap to lock anyone that tries to come up that doesn't have PC priv. You have an auto turret. Watching over the peak downs in case you're getting right in. And people get into the peak downs. Coming here, this is the bedroom floor for you and your duo partner. Or if you're solo, you can just have it by yourself. You have drop boxes here for kits. If you want, you could also put lockers here. Your decision. Come around here. Have the same thing on the other side. Then we can go on down into the core of the base. We have tier 3 and power right here. This is all the switches. And then the battery is back here. Tier 3 protecting it. Making it a harder raid cost to get to the battery. Take out all your turrets. Coming down here, you have main loot. Two sleeping bags for you and your duo partner. A furnace, TC. Four vending machines, two boxes. You can fit more here if you want furnaces as well. Going back up, you can make this all sheet metal as well. Going up onto the shooting floor. You have this these windows visual to see if they've reached your shooting floor yet in case you've gotten raided. Come around here, peek downs into, into your courtyard of your compound if you're getting raided. Also right here, another peek down that is on each side of the shooting floor looking down into your courtyard you can go ahead and come up here this is your roof you can fit more wind turbines up here just i figured if you're going to be a solo or a duo you shouldn't need more than one one will power all six of your turrets two on roof two on shooting floor and two out in your compound now for the turrets the power system I have a smart switch hooked up to a splitter hooked up to three electrical branches. When you go to configure, make sure the electrical branch says 10. That way it will give each turret enough power to run. Now starting this off, we're just gonna start out with a, a square foundation, branch off with the triangle one on each side. Then you're gonna cram TC back on the wall as far as you can get it that way we can fit a furnace in there as well and then you're gonna place a window make sure you have a roof on that I'm gonna put door frames on each side of these triangles that way you can fit the vending machines in them make sure you place them going this way disable the broadcast on them that way your base is not being displayed on the map. Port triangle, roof, two windows. Make sure you flip them around so they can't be soft side picked into. Then you're gonna make the jump up with a ladder hatch. And garage door. Now that we're on this part of the base, we can place the boxes. I'm gonna place one in that corner. One right there. And then we can cram you and your duo's bags in here. This will be the main loot room. You can also, if wanted, put a little bit more storage. Put small boxes around here. Just in case you get any bit more storage. I would not recommend making this a starter just because there's not a lot of room starting out. It's, it's mainly just as a main base. I would maybe suggest starting out in a 2x1 or 2x2. But now we're going to work on going up. You take it and then. Place walls going along like this. 
put a triangle frame for ladder hash right there. Like shown, put your ladder hatch and then two garage doors down there. Now here is gonna be your power area. So what we can do is go in here and grab a large battery. And you're also gonna need a splitter and then a switch. I don't know if you're gonna to wanna to hook it up to Rust Plus. If so, just get a smart switch. And then you're gonna need electrical branches. Uh, I'm sure if you um, know how to do power yourself, you don't need this part. But for the newbies out there that don't know how to do power, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to wire this up. Get a wiring tool. So, the large battery can go right here in this little nook then in this room you're gonna have splitter your smart switch and we're gonna power our smart switch into the splitter and then the smart switch power will get from the large battery which will be powered by a wind turbine on the roof here we're gonna put Three electrical branches make sure you click configure on each and set each to 10 once you've done that you can just take it and power each one this will make it so you can power six auto turrets pretty simple pretty easy just like that and you can block it off Coming in here, this will also be your area for your workbench. Go ahead, you can put uh, your workbench on either side. I like to do it on the battery, that way it gives it a little more protection. Battery is the more valuable part of the component because it stores all the power. You're gonna come up here. Now we're gonna start start the peak downs. So each side where there's a vending machine, you're gonna want to place a square. And then in that triangle, this will also act as honeycomb. And here going up, place the walls. Now you're going to come back up here, we are going to start on the inner peaks, do this, and then if you have BP, and if you don't, I would suggest getting the BP because you're going to need these, siren light, you're going to want to place these so you can't fall through on the peak guns. Place those on all four sides. So once those are placed, you can go ahead and start on the jump ups to go to your roof. It's gonna look like this. You can have a ladder hatch here actually, make it easier by climbing up there and make it more accessible. Now here, we're gonna put a door frame here, a door frame here. This will be your entrance and exit to the base. We're gonna come place walls. Do not place walls right here on these two sides because it's gonna be the jump up to get up to here. So now coming down here, you can go ahead and place two triangles, place a door frame, and then place walls going up this is going to be your way into the base
to come in here. You're just gonna do simple half four jump ups. And then you can place a wall there. Place that, place a garage door. Repeat that down here. Now you can go ahead and fill in these areas. Coming up here, you're going to want to put garage door, garage door, gather your windows, and also your bed. Place windows here so you have a little peek and see if Raiders have gotten onto your shooting or peeked down for you. You can place you and your teammates' bed coming up here. Remember to place the garage door inward. I fucked up on that. Or outward, actually. That way you can actually make the letter edge or else it will block you. I'm gonna start on the shooting floor. Put two squares going out, and two more. Leaving this middle part open. Then you're gonna go ahead and place windows all around. So right here, this is going to be another peak down, so start on that, you're going to come down here, place squares, placing a triangle, demolish those, and you're going to place door frames going up, coming up here, we're going to be able to place a wall here, half wall here, and then two windows. That will create a nice little peek down to look into your courtyard if you're getting raided. You can repeat that on the other side. Make sure you don't leave this soft side. And then we're gonna place the door frames for your peak downs. Place those. Then we're gonna place door frames right here for the stability. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and fill in all the roofs right here. Now we're going to go ahead and fill this area in with windows and exits. So we can peek in if raiders have gotten control of the shooting floor, you can see from right here. Also you can exit onto the shooting floor. You're gonna leave this blank, put a ladder at you, this is gonna be your jump up to the roof roof. Now once you're at this part, we can fill these in with windows, put garage doors down. Come up here, finish the roof. One up here, we can put 
place roofs like this. Give us another little roof advantage peak for raid defense and roof camping. Sometimes these can be a pain to place. Once you're done with that, I like to put the wind turbine in the middle. I'm sure you could fit way more if you place it off to the side. Just I would assume if you're going to be a solo or a duo, you don't need more than one. Go in here, grab your wind turbine, and auto turret since we're going to be starting to place those. And go ahead, place that. Rig up the battery down here that we placed earlier. You're gonna need to pick up the tier three for this if you've placed it already. Come up here. We'll set up the large battery. We can go ahead and place our workbench back. Then with this, We'll put a turret here and a turret here. These will be watching your, our peak down floor. And we'll put a turret here and a turret here, watching our roof. And then these two turrets can go in your compound or whatever you're building, your courtyard for your base. You can hook them all up to these. I'm gonna have to, you have to flip on the switch first. I'm, I'm stupid, but that will that will power each one if you look at each electrical branch up to all those. Then to finish off the base, once you're done putting all the doors and windows and braziers on the roof, we can come over here and put down some honeycomb, just strengthening the skinnier part of the base since it doesn't have a lot of strength to it and it's a weaker part of the base, cheaper raid cost. And one last part, this is kind of optional or not, I like to put shotgun traps right here on the jump up, if you're getting raided from the jump up or just get door camps, this will prevent people from going deep on you, like shown. You can also put shotgun traps like right here, watching the ladder hatch if people are going deep from the roof. So there you have it, this is it, you can put your embrasures and doors on there like this, pretty simple base, pretty cheap to make, and pretty expensive to raid if you're online or offline, hope you guys enjoy.